Hello everyone, Daniel Kerr here. So um, I'm still working on my device. Uh, many of you have heard uh, that I'm making my own groove box, but really it's a standalone computer that runs any software. Um, right now, uh, let me let me show you what I got. Okay, so right now it's in a in a pistol case. Um, it has brushed aluminum panels. Uh, it's not going to be like this. It's going to look basically like a push or a force. Um, it's going to have a tilting screen. I, I still want to keep it in a case though. It's going to have all the connections and everything. Um, right now I'm working with a system that is as bare bones as possible. This is a large touch screen. Um, this is an Akai APC Mini. Just until I get my proprietary controller finished so I can install it in the actual unit. It's together in this case and I just want to see if I can use it live. There's only 16 gigabytes of RAM in here, and this is only a 2.1 gigahertz processor. These are Intel processors, though. You'll see that I'm, I'm loading Vital, and I'm going to go ahead and play in this thing, and basically just want to see how, how long I can play. Um, yeah, you're going to see a lot more of this device, not necessarily in this case, although I am pretty enamored of the idea of being able to close it up and carry it around in an impact-resistant uh, Pelican case. Um, small, small. You show up at a, at a rave and you set up where the DJ sets up, plug and play, you know what I mean? Uh, runs any software. I'm running Ableton Live 12. Um, actually, I think I'm running a demo version of 11, actually. I will show that you can use all of the um, all third-party plugins. Anyway, let, let's get started. to extract information from a corpse once. You can do that if they haven't been there for longer than six hours. You could access his memories, assuming there's no brain damage. Of course you'd have to have an electromagnetic probe placed in the base of the skull whilst immersed without What sort of drugs? A mix of ketamine, neurotin, lysergic acid, diethylamide. Dallas was LSD, by
that syringe.
All right. Um, yeah, that was pretty fun. But um, scrolling through the presets on Vital, it did max out my CPU. The final unit is going to be way, way more powerful than this. And um, I just wanted to see what was going on. Uh, the final specs are quad core 3.8 gigahertz processor, 32 gigs of RAM, uh, 2 terabyte um, SSD, full audio and MIDI ins and outs, Wi Fi, and a 10 hour battery life. You saw the tiny grid controller that's in this. There's going to be bigger pads. It's going to have the launch and scene buttons, but also along the sides and on the top there's going to be assignable knobs and sliders. And then of course the 10.1 inch multi-touch display. It's going to be very, very comprehensive, this piece. But anyway, it seemed to work out pretty good. Ghostwrittenclips.com if you want to check out my sample packs and support me. Look soon for a, a Kickstarter on this, um, maybe within the next six months or so. I thought it would be quicker, but putting together all of these components and the software, like making sure that the software runs smoothly, um, it's just testing and testing and testing. And there's just so much to iron out. It's taking a lot longer than I anticipated, but actually I'm really enjoying the process. Everybody be blessed.